over the course of these next few weeks where I believe the Lord wants to heal our eyes, heal our vision. He, he wants to teach us how to see because our life is at stake here. Our marriages are at stake. I won't ask for anybody here to raise their hands. Couples that have been in my office for marriage counseling and they'll tell me how they see each other and how they see their marriage. And I'll be standing here going, well, let me tell you how I see it. Great people, incredible people. Separately, really, really good. And somehow when they come together, sometimes it's like oil and water. But now they're processing, they're, they're looking at their marriage through all kinds of filters of hurt and dismay and discouragement and loss of hope and stuff. And now they're, they're, they're describing to me their world. And I'm going, look, I don't live in your house, but I can tell you, in reality, it's not what you're describing right now. Because we're seeing through too many filters. We're too out of focus. I'm going to tell you this, Cornerstone Family Church. This is going to sound quite utopian. But I'm telling you, if we will let Jesus heal us, restore our sight, we will absolutely become a people like the Bible talks about that is focused that is prospering in life, that, that is fulfilling great purposes. Destiny will be more than a catchphrase, man. You will see destiny is playing out in your life. Doesn't matter what happens on the news, what happens in the world, what got, gets bombed next. You're going to look at life and you're going to process it differently. Instead of the doom and the gloom and get me out of here, you're going to get a new attitude. An attitude of subduing, an attitude of occupying, an attitude of a king, an attitude of a lord. Instead of trying to escape someplace, you're going you're to see the kingdom of God is at hand. And you're, and you're not going to be saying, oh, it's bad, it's bad, it's bad anymore. You're going to be saying what God said from the very beginning. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. Doesn't mean that bad things won't happen. But if you will let Jesus heal your eyes... You're going to begin to look at your suffering different. You're going to look at your persecution different. You're going to look at the troubles of life different. You're going to learn to see God in your conflicts. You're going to learn to see God in, 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 in the many things in life that aren't working out the way that you hoped. The surprises of life, suddenly you're going to be able to see the hand of God in that. And when you see it, you can align yourself with it. You can get focused on it, align yourself with it. And some of you guys, instead of wandering in the desert for 40 years, you're going to find it's going to be a very quick work of God. And the only reason that you keep wandering and wandering and wandering in this mess is because you can't see what's really happening here. You can't see what God's really trying to do. So you're operating in imaginations. You're groping. You're feeling your way along because you don't see the truth. Because baby, the truth will set you free. The truth is something that has to be seen. When you see the truth, the truth will set you free. From what? From condemnation. From bondage. That God hates you. That God doesn't like you. That God can't forgive you. That you're a mess. That you're a loser. That you'll never do anything from your, with your life. God will set you free from that stuff. When you begin to see.